Welcome to episode 14 of the SWNZ podcast, the podcast for New Zealand Star Wars fans. My name is Matt. And my name is Christy. Today we're going to focus a bit on what to expect in terms of Star Wars news from Disney's D23 Expo, which is running from early tomorrow morning New Zealand time through to our Monday. But first, let's talk briefly about an event a little closer to home, the Auckland Armageddon Expo, which is taking place on Labor Weekend from October the 25th to the 28th. And the reason that this is topical is because we've just heard about another Star Wars guest brought to our attention just today. That brings the list of Star Wars guests to four. These guests come from the animated Star Wars realm, with many of them coming from the Star Wars Rebels TV show. We have Vanessa Marshall, who is the voice of Harris and Dula in Rebels. Taylor Gray, who voices Ezra Bridger in Rebels. Jason Isaacs, who many people will know him from Harry Potter, but of course he also voiced the Grand Inquisitor from the severe season of Rebels. And just released is Sam Witwer's announcement that he will be coming. And of course he voiced Darth Maul in Rebels and in the recent solo film. And of course he plays Starkiller in The Force Unleashed. So we'll talk about that a little bit as the um, actual event approaches, but I thought it was just worth bringing up now because these guests have been drip-fed out and it's not until you really stop and look at the whole list that you realise that there are four Star Wars voice actors uh, that are going to be in attendance and that's that's quite cool. I look forward to trying to actually meet them all um, and, seeing, and seeing the panels that they have at Armageddon when that comes around. And of course prices on autographs and photos are yet to be confirmed but with many Armageddons in the past animation guests will often sign for free or for a reduced cost compared to the main movie and TV show actors so this would be a great chance to get some Star Wars voice actor autographs for a reduced price. So this is great news for Star Wars fans who are able to attend Auckland Armageddon. We'll have details about that in advance of that convention but I look forward to actually being able to publish some photos uh, in our post Armageddon reports. Okay let's jump to our main news of the day, the Disney's D23 Expo which is taking place in Anaheim, California. It runs from Friday the 23rd to Sunday the 25th American time. That means it starts for us very early tomorrow morning although it has opened for a preview night already so there are bits and pieces of information and um, some photos that are hitting the internet already. Tell us a little bit about D23 Expo for those that aren't that familiar with it because it's not actually that old is it? No it's only been running uh, a short while compared to a Star Wars celebration but it, it's held every two years and it's always been held in Anaheim California primarily due to its proximity to Disneyland of course but this is where Disney really showcases a lot of their major developments with major announcements with the theme parks with movies and they have a lot of big name celebrities that are involved in Disney projects. They have an induction ceremony where they induct celebrities and Disney legends into the Disney legends. So you get some really cool people showing up for those things. It, it must be really neat for the people that get to attend those panels in person. But of course they have a lot of dedicated Disney merch and of course with Star Wars being under the Disney umbrella we are seeing a really big increase of the Star Wars presence at this year's D23 even compared to the one two years ago so it's really neat to see this really big increase of Star Wars presence there with the inclusion of props and costumes on display panels merchandise guests it's it's going to be really exciting weekend yeah so like I say that the preview night the early preview night for that has already kicked off that's Thursday their time but obviously it's Friday for us here now as we're recording this already on show and um, our costumes from The Mandalorian and from episode 9 from The Mandalorian uh, there are full costumes of The Mandalorian the titular character by Pedro Pascal played by Pedro Pascal and uh, Gina Carano's character Cara Dune and from episode 9 The Rise of Skywalker there is a Sith Trooper and a new Jet Trooper which I suspect slash believe is the one we see very very briefly in a few frames in the um, trailer that came out. So on the SWZ website I've put up a schedule of all of the Star Wars related panels as um, with a timetable converted to New Zealand timing. The first one starts uh, at about 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning but not all of these are live streamed, a couple of them are live streamed but I've put all of the Star Wars related ones up in an article on SWZ because even if they're not live streamed the news that comes out of them will be hitting the internet and hitting the official Star Wars YouTube channel immediately after these panels finish. So it's kind of nice to know what days and what times of days we'll be hearing specific news. For instance, we'll be hearing probably a lot about The Mandalorian tomorrow and a lot about Episode 9 on our Sunday. 
So let's just take a quick look at that schedule. On Friday, American time, that's Saturday tomorrow for us, the Disney Legends ceremony, which includes John Favreau, who voiced Rio in Solo, A Star Wars Story, but of course is um, a big name in relation to The Mandalorian. He's uh, producing and directing a few episodes, producing the series and directing a few episodes. And James Earl Jones, who we all know well as the voice of Darth Vader. So that's taking place from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. American time. That's 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning through to 7 a.m. New Zealand time, and that one will be live streamed. I'll stop referring to the American Times just for clarity, and we'll just stick to the New Zealand Times from this point. There's a panel called The Music and Sounds of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, taking place tomorrow morning, 7.30 to 8.30 a.m., and the first look at Episode 2 of the Vader Immortal Virtual Reality Series will be taking place tomorrow from 9 to 10 a.m. The big news... Well, the news that I'm particularly excited about is uh, a panel called the Disney Plus Showcase. Now, this is going to be a panel that focuses on all of the new content related to the Disney Plus streaming service. And we mentioned in an article on SDMZ a few days ago that we can expect to see this in New Zealand just one week after it kicks off in America. So that's November the 19th for us. And the pricing we're expecting for that is about $9.99 a month or $99.99 if you pay it all for one year or one hit. But this Disney Plus showcase panel will feature quite a bit of Mandalorian material. Uh, John Fanvro spoke specifically about that in an article um, that was shared online a couple of days ago. So I'm hoping to see a trailer and or some of that preview material that has been in development for a while now. That takes place from 10.30 a.m. till midday tomorrow. So that's the timelines we can expect to be seeing some of that material, presumably hitting the official Star Wars YouTube channel. At Star Wars Celebration Chicago back in April, they released a small snippet of footage which wasn't widely released outside of the people in that room. Um, so I'm really hoping that we will get more footage released in an official capacity from this panel that will be released online youtube through major channels and things like that and personally just after that finding out that we are that new zealand will be getting disney plus i'm much more excited about the mandalorian i was kind of holding my breath in case new zealand wasn't going to be in that first batch of countries getting the platform but knowing that we're only a week after america and that we will be able to get Star Wars content in New Zealand through this platform means that we can we can really get on board with the excitement of these things releasing so soon. It's it's literally weeks away now. Yeah, and they're going to be releasing those episodes in installments, so one a week as far as we know at this point. That could change a whole lot by tomorrow. Uh, but that's going to because that's going to be available to Kiwis um, through official channels. That's going to give us material that we're going to be talking a lot about um, on future podcasts. So that's the things we can expect from tomorrow. On Sunday New Zealand time, there is a panel called Go Behind the Scenes with the Walt Disney Studios. And it has been teased that we can expect to see Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, behind the scenes footage during that panel. And presumably that will be up on the official Star Wars YouTube channel immediately thereafter. That takes place quite early on Sunday morning, 5am to 7am. So we'll get up to just make sure that we'll just see if there's any of that information trickling out. But after 7am is when we can expect to see that uh, online. Now we've seen behind the scenes footage for the um, previous two movies coming out you know as a variation on just seeing the trailers. They sometimes are quite you know quite long they're a little bit longer than trailers sometimes and uh, we'll, we'll screen cap that as well so that you can really go through it frame by frame and see all of the the exciting news that we can sort of draw from draw out from that. On Monday we've got three panels on Monday New Zealand time there'll be three panels there's a panel called the heroines of the Disney galaxies that is presented in conjunction with American company Box Lunch. What do you know about that one? Uh, Box Lunch is a sort of a partner slash sub company of the major American apparel store chain um, Hot Topic and they are a, a big partnership with Who Universe that recently got purchased by Hot Topic. So they stock a lot of Star Wars apparel and accessories. They stock merchandise including the Funko Rangers and stuff like that. And they also give back a certain amount of every purchase to charities. So it's quite a neat store and it's exciting to see that um, supporting the heroines of Disney Galaxies, which is including Star Wars. The advertising material for this panel included Princess Leia, Rey and Ahsoka Tano of course with Ashley Eckstein, B-12 
being the founder of her universe. So it's really neat to see them really including the women of Star Wars in the the broader Disney umbrella. And Box Lunch, of course, does ship um, internationally. So they've got a cool range of stuff that's not available locally. Okay, and two other panels that we can expect on Monday New Zealand time. That oh, Just before we leave it, that Heroines of the Disney Galaxies panel will actually be live streamed. Well, there's, there'll be links below uh, that, that you can jump to for that. And that will be followed by a sneak peek at the Disney Park experiences and products uh, taking place from 5.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. New Zealand time. So there's a little bit of overlap with the um, Heroines of Disney Galaxies panel, uh, but that information will be coming out for 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. for those two panels respectively. So we don't know too much about what they may or may not talk about in the Disney Parks panels, but of course we, they may hit on the Galaxy's Edge parks. Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland has been open for some time now, and the one in Disney World is just about to open. They are having previews as we speak, so we know... A th- fair amount of what's in these parks they've been open to the public for a while but the big main attraction rise of the resistance ride hasn't opened yet and that's expected to open at the end of the year in walt disney world and in uh, january for disneyland so there may still be a significant star wars component to this panel and there have been rumors about a new star wars themed sit-down restaurant in one of the parks and of course the totally immersive star wars hotel that is currently being built at Walt Disney World. Yeah, I think we're going to hear quite a bit about that hotel because I think already on show at the um, during the preview night is a model of the Starship that is, it's a mock-up of the Starship that you supposedly enter when you enter the hotel and all the role-playing aspect of that hotel experience is related to being on that Starship. So the external view and sort of the, the story sort of surrounding that is on display and I think they're probably going to talk a little bit more about that. It would be neat to finally get some more concrete information in regards to opening dates, possible pricing structures. I know there's been a lot of speculation about it, but certainly for any international Star Wars fans that'll be looking to visit this park in the future, it would certainly help with budgeting and future planning to know some more concrete details about these new Star Wars additions to the Disney parks. And also on Monday New Zealand time is uh, the final Star Wars panel that we're aware of. It's called Inspiring Women Behind Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. That takes place from Monday 9am to 10am. So uh, there'll be a little bit more details about that after after the fact and uh, we can cover that in a a wrap up. So we plan to report on this sort of news as it comes through on the SWNZ Facebook group and the SWNZ message boards. We'll do coverage of the any big video releases such as the episode 9 behind the scenes footage and the Mandalorian footage. We'll cover those in screen cap galleries and links on the main SWZ website. But if you want to just discuss it with other fans, jump onto the SWZ Facebook group and the SWZ message boards. That's the list of panels and information that we know of now. That doesn't mean that that's the sum total of it all. There may well be something else that surprises us. Who knows, we might hear more about what is in line for the um, Disney Plus streaming service, such as future series, the Cassian Andor series. There's also a big secret panel that Disney has planned, and everyone has their ideas and speculations about what could possibly be contained in this secret reveal panel. But we'll guess we'll just have to wait and see. There's a slim chance it would be Star Wars related, but as fans of the broader Disney genre, we're just keen to see what this might be. Yeah, so get involved on the SWZ website and SWZ Facebook group and stay tuned for another podcast where we wrap all this information up next week. So that's about it for this installment. Just a quick one, but we did want to get in there before the um, D23 Expo fully kicks off. So I guess for now, we are done doing talking. Thank you for listening in. Stay tuned to our website, swnz.co.nz, for Star Wars news for New Zealanders. And another podcast episode next week. Jump on over to either our Facebook group or the SWNZ message boards to discuss all of the latest D23 Star Wars news with other Kiwi fans. Thank you for listening. May the force be with you. If you enjoyed today's podcast... Go ahead and like the video, check out the SWNZ podcast playlist for our other episodes, and subscribe for alerts about new episodes. See you next time.